We're here with Brian. His team went undefeated at today's 3v3 event. What deck were you playing? Oh, I play Sky Striker. Nice. How were your matchups today? Um, so I played Subterra round one and I lost because I didn't open a single raid both games. Um, round two I played against Virtual, 2 out that. Uh, round three I played against uh, Bird Zodiac, 2 out that. Um, and in round four I played against Zodiac Sky Striker, uh, 2 1 that. And in top four I played a Go Second like, OTK deck with like the Kaijus and like um, the Numeron package. And then uh, I lost top four. I sorry, I lost the finals of uh, the like D Link. Uh, I played uh, Dragon Link, but uh, my other two teammates carried me. So, yeah. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> cool, man. Let's check it out. All right. So, the heart and soul of the deck, uh, Ray. Can't play the deck without her. And um, I played one Rose. So, most people try to play like two or three because they want to see the engine. But uh, I think the Sky Striker engine is actually like not very great compared to the other cards you can play that go well with the deck. So, I only played one Rose as an extra option in case you need a Zeke banish their extra deck monster and then extend from there to um, like fully break their whole board. And I only played um, one hand, uh, one monster hand trap, which was Ash Blossom, because I think it's like the most versatile. And the only way this deck automatically loses sometimes is if they get Dragoon and if you can stop the fusion, then um, Ash like, you know, will win you the game like that. So I played uh, seven monsters. And then for the spell cards, I played three Widow Anchor, uh, two Area Zero, Two short cannon, uh, one afterburners, one Hercules space. So this card I think is actually really good because it helps you grind. And since I, I play Pot of Prosperity, so I will lose some links sometimes just to access my engine. Because since um, post engage ban, this deck has a really hard time finding Ray and exact the exact pieces you need. So I think this is really important to shuffle back the links to be access your engine uh, throughout the game. And then I play one Hornet bid, one multi roll for the Sky Sharker spell cards. So I believe that's eleven. And I think this is the best card in the deck right now, it's Pot of Prosperity. So this basically gets you Ray 100%, and your deck doesn't OTK anyway, so the half damage doesn't really um, uh, hinder your deck. As well as, this only stops one card in your deck, and it's Upstart Goblin, which is like, you could totally skip using it that turn if you get exactly what you need. And then three Cosmic Cyclones, because Eldritch is really popular right now, and even if you go first against Dragon Link, if you hit the Boot Sector launch, most likely the turn will be over, or just like really subpar. And similar to like the Ash Blossom theory, I had two droplets for Dragoon because I don't want to automatically lose Dragoon. Even though I have some outs in the extra deck, this just makes it so much easier to beat like certain combo decks as well as Dragoon. And I played five one of spell cards outside of the Sky Striker spell cards. Uh, Terraforming, Upstart, and Rhoda. Um, it's 2018 all over again. And I played one Call by the Grave because I think this card is really good against Dragon Link. If you can bait out the seal and then Call by the Grave the seal, their turn is like basically really bad, like the, the follow-up turn is really bad, so this is really important. Um, as well as stopping some hand traps sometimes, um, it comes up a lot. And then one Mystic Mind, so I played one Mystic Mind because certain decks don't play outs to Mystic Mind, and if you can Prosperity for 6 and then guarantee that you win the game off Mystic Mind, then that's like your free game round 1. Oh sorry, game 1. And then um, you can also have an option to Terraforming search this, even though this is a go first deck, I think it's really important to have it right now, because of Prosperity. And then the last nine cards are just trap cards. I played three Solemn Strike. This is like the best trap of the format. Uh, three Ice Dragon Prison. I just, I guess I just really don't like Dragoon because these two uh, like uh, just beat all the Dragoon combo decks. And yeah, and Drytron isn't really great anymore and Virtual World is like not very great either. So this is like a lot better, this format. And I played three Imprim for the Dragon Link deck and it's like a trap card for going first too. So main deck was 40. And for my extra deck, I played Three Hayate. Uh, it's really important you play three, especially because of Prosperity. Uh, three Kagari, three Suzuku, uh, one Kaina, and one Zeke. I was thinking of playing two, but I decided just to have more utility in the extra deck to play with, so this is just a one Zeke, even though this is really good. Uh, one Halky Firebox to extend into Unicorn, so we link up into Access Code sometimes. Uh, it was originally Nightmare Phoenix, but I didn't feel like I needed it as much because the backward decks you usually negate the Phoenix before you get a pop it, so I just felt like this was just an extra extender to go for game. Uh, one Ningursu, um, so this is just an out Dragoon. Um, and it also like, clears the board in case they play a Kaiju. Or, or you see them play Kaijus and then you can play around it that way. But this is mostly just an out Dragoon. And one access code because it's really good in this deck in particular. Alright, and then uh, for my side deck I play one Panker Tops. Um, I think Dinosaur is really popular right now, so if you can summon the Overraptor off your Shark Cannon, you can search the Panker Tops uh, on your turn. Uh, two Ghost Ogres, this is mainly for Dragon Link. Um, once you hit, like I said, once you hit the Boot Sector launch, the turn is pretty much over for the most part. Otherwise, it's just a really weak board. Uh, two Nibiru, um, I couldn't find room for the third, but I think this card's good. 
Uh, same for Lancia. I think this card's good, but it's really exclusive for Dragon Link and uh, Bird Up. Uh, one Mystic Mind. Uh, fill in the spot for the second one. I, I, use, I don't use it to win the game. I use it to like buy a couple turns because I also play uh, Metaverse. And I won a game earlier because I Metaverse into a board of monsters, and then he had to like do some you know really bad plays to like not automatically lose. So I really like Metaverse there. Uh, Feather Duster um, for the trap decks, and then two Twin Twisters also for the trap decks. Um, and the last card in my side deck was a uh, Solemn Judgment. This is just to protect the Mystic Mind sometimes to buy me extra turns because um, this deck like, thrives when you have like extra cards in your hand. So yeah, and that's my side deck. Nice. Congrats, bro. Thank you. Any shout outs tonight? Uh, yeah, I want to shout out my team, uh, Vi and Alex. Um, really carried me. <laughs> uh, I want to shout out my team, Team Royalty, even though we haven't been playing a whole lot because of, you know, COVID and stuff. Um, I really do feel like when events come back up, you know, we'll be ready, hopefully. Um, yeah, I want to shout out all my friends, people I, I drove with, um, and my friends and family. Yeah. Nice, man. Congrats, bro. Thank you.